Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Team Skywater Season Challenge where we are against the Rovers today. Oh, the Rovers. Oh, the Rovers. Who, the who are the three? Buzz There's Buzz Armstrong. Lightyear, Buzz Armstrong, and uh, Buzz Saw. So. Buzz Saw. <laughs> yeah. I believe that is them. That would be really <laughs> funny. That was their names. Yes. <laughs> was Lightyear... Armstrong and Saw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like people can like put together the buzz the connection. Buzz, even though it's not really Buzz Armstrong. Right? Yeah. That's not, that's not his real name? Oh yeah, yeah. good yeah. point. Aldrin. Yeah. That's that's how it would have to work. Yeah. I got it too excited to be, about that. <laughs> also be Aldrin, not Armstrong. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, that's definitely not who's on their team. There's no Buzz Aldrin on the Rovers. It's I definitely like... Buzz Armstrong, Buzz Lightyear, and Buzz Saw. So you guys, you guys know how at the end of every episode we talk about how Jay is terrible at asking for comments, likes, and subscribes? Yeah. I feel yeah. like our hook today is terrible. Uh, like, we came in and immediately started having a conversation <laughs> about some stars. This is, this is why, you don't know, this is why the people watch, right? They want this menu screen. <laughs> the menu screen. This is really great, yeah. yeah the longer we spend on the menu screen... Uh, the higher our retention numbers are. Right? Right. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they're like, when is the match starting, It's guys? statistics. <laughs> it's just, we're just playing that algorithm game, y'all. Who was going for the ball? Not me. me. I'm staying on oh, defense. Oh. It's the worst feeling when you stay when you stay on defense and then like they ace it. That's the worst. Yeah, it's like yeah. There's, a, there's a whole lot of uh, pressure there. Ooh. Oh, that could go. That could go. That could it feels. Go. Fe oh, it felt okay though. It did feel pretty good. At least gave me a shot. So good. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna start with questions, and there's actually two very related questions um, from Mary Eke okay. and I was freaking Jake out inside T. for a second. I don't know if you guys could tell by the weird sound. Of it. I could tell. The, the, the one from it was obvious. The, the one from the Netherlands, I think. Yeah. Wait. Uh, the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Was on the Discord. Is that no, now? Is we had a debate the other day about yes. whether the Netherlands is part of. Spain Used to be India. very active on the Discord. If they are still part of the Discord. I believe Someone she's with the one who's not. Balls, we balls, must stop balls. having conversations amongst ourselves <laughs> during <laughs> during their time. During. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, so her question says, Hey guys, I'm having a bit of time juggling problem. I'm studying to become a stained glass maker. I'm oh. a scout leader for two different groups, sure. part of a theater group, yeah. and I have two jobs, tutoring and waitressing. I'm also on my student council. I feel like I should let one of the volunteering activities go, but yeah. I'm needed at all three. The money from my two jobs is also very useful. What would you do in this situation? Oh uh, yeah, you were like butter Damn. spread over too much toast, my yep. friend. Yep, that's exactly it. No one's, no one's enjoying butter. that piece of toast. It's like, why'd you even put butter on it, you know? Ouch. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, that was that sounded... I was trying, Listen, I was really... Plenty of people are enjoying your toast. Yeah. Uh, it, it, people, it's just that, people are that enjoying you might not the be butter enjoying your, your own toast. Yeah, you, yeah, that's what I meant. I think I switched... <laughs> I meant that you weren't enjoying your own toast, but it sounded like I was saying people weren't enjoying the toast that you were. That's not what I meant. Yep. Um, so I'm sure the volunteer work and the work you're doing is much appreciated everywhere, but that you are not enjoying your toast at maximum because it is spread too thin with very little butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got the metaphor out we of the way. We got the metaphor. Yeah. I say it works without any clunk at all. I really got hungry for toast. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah, kind of. Do we have bread? No, I haven't. I've mostly stopped. I don't think bread. we have a toaster. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I don't need much bread. Hey, I would like to uh, very quickly uh, go over a collection. Okay. Of mine. So, um, a while back we were talking about Alan Shepard, and I said that he was the one that was on the uh, command module while Paul oh, Alden and. Right. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't. Y'all. Uh, Alan Shepard uh -oh. gave. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I know why you guys don't score when you're in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of you go. Um, <laughs> that, that, is that part of it, Ben? <laughs> you must actually oh, go. Anyway, Alan Shepard was the first American in space for the uh, uh, Mercury Redstone. That's right. There were at least a dozen corrections of that in the comments of that video. I was thinking of Michael Collins. Uh, are you sure it wasn't Buzz Saw? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Collins is the name Buzz Saw. Yay! We scored! Michael Buzzsaw Collins. I believe it is Michael Buzzsaw Collins. <laughs> I'm pretty All sure right. the next person who joins the Discord is going to get the nickname Buzzsaw and not know why. If, if Michael Collins has a Twitter, you guys should all be like, What up, Buzzsaw? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, What? <laughs> <laughs> why are all these people calling me Buzzsaw? Like, I don't so. understand Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> probably old. 
So how should Marieki decide which thing to do less of? I think at the end of the day, um, everything with this, like it sounds like time is her hot commodity, but if it's not, if it's money, oh. then it's like, don't mess with your part-time jobs. Like, I think you have to determine what your commodity is and then go from there. Like we had the, we had the conversation, I think once upon a time with Jordan and her priorities. And we were kind of going back and forth over the idea of like, you do the things that you want to do. So like, if you're like, I would spend more time with family, but you go and do other things, it means that you don't want to spend more time with family. You have to go do other things because if not, you'd be spending time with family. Right. Um, so if it's like, I really need more time, then I think get rid of something, um, you know, based on interest. Like, mm -hmm. what do you have the least amount of fun doing? Right. Um, um, but if you're like, I really need to make ends meet, um, then I would definitely yeah. not get rid of part time. Jobs. Right. But if you're like, I really need to make stained glass, then you should keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I would say here's just an experiment for you. Just maybe like. Take some take take like a week off of each one in turn and just figure out like which one you didn't end up missing the most. Oh, what an interesting thing, yeah. Like sorry guys, yeah. I can't scout well scout leading stuff like probably a lot of people are depending. Well, maybe not though. Really? I don't know. In my experience with scouts, either there's like too many cooks in the kitchen or there's like one cook for a thousand kids. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good way to put <laughs> it. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know which situation you're in. Uh, either way. Well, in one of those that's another good way to assess like, it. Yeah, like uh, I like the, like uh, Jonathan's uh, thought here. I, it is hard though when you're just like, getting pulled in so many different directions and you feel like every all of them are depending on you equally and you just don't know. And with a lot of these things what? that you're volunteering at, what, what it's possible you that you on? can um, be like uh, take a week off from uh, each of them individually and then see which one you pull down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that is a good methodical way of doing the things. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I like your methodology, sir. Thank you. They're gonna it. And also, it's it's okay to not like. It's okay to stop doing something because it's not bringing you joy, even if you think yes. that you're helping. Uh, because you can always, almost always, you can train someone to do what you're doing. Oh, and and was, if you're really worried about leaving somebody high and dry, find find someone to train to take over the volunteering position that you were doing. Jordan, this is something that I actually feel like I could I could imagine Ooh. you dealing with. Uh, because I can I feel imagine, like yes, Jordan dealing with this problem. You seem too. rather committed to like a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, and I could see you feeling like you are, are obliged to continue on. Yeah, I definitely went through that a lot in undergrad, um, where I Malarkey. was in so many different organizations and felt like my existence and and leadership was what was holding it together, and it turns out that I'm not that important. This is, you know what this is? This is the intern problem. Um, yeah, that's is, exactly what it is. Yeah, it's I've like, guess, okay, so the answer is, like, yeah, like, volunteers and stuff, like, it's very, uh, many events cannot happen without volunteers or whatever, and volunteer work is always so appreciated. But at the end of the day, there, no one's paying you to be there, right? Which means you don't, like, the company isn't relying on you. Right. This, right? So, I, and what I mean by the intern problem is that I have uh, had many an intern in my day, not not just here at Super Carlin Brothers, but before we've had one intern. But um, shout out to Callie. Yeah, shout out. What up, Callie? Getting married, got engaged. So cute. Nah. Oh man, what a good. Yeah, it was a good vlog. You guys should check it out. Maybe we'll remember to put it somewhere in here. Um, not the point. Um, and uh, whenever I had interns in. Inevitably, there was a day where one, they would call in sick or say, oh my god, I can't make it today. And no matter what, their tone of voice was the exact same every time. And it was just like, I am letting you down so much. Oh my god. I'm like, this is, I'm so sorry I can't come in today. Like, I, like and you know, and, and <laughs> on the other end of things, I'm like, alright, whatever. Because like, like, I liked giving the interns work and I found having people there helpful. But at the end of the day, like... There, you know, 75% of the year we don't have an intern there, and everything gets done just fine. So, right, right, right. You know, I think it's a really um, good way to put it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like I, I could see you, you definitely being valued. Um, but that being said, there's there, it, the day will go on. Yes, yes. Oh boy, we are up against the mighty seventh grade soccer team rebels. 
<laughs> unexpectedly good to be in this league, but <clears throat> somehow those little 12-year-olds can really put on a show. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, doubt. They are amongst the, the high four here. They are the high four. Yeah. Ooh, we've given us a title. Well, you know what? It's, it could even be the high five because the Bombers there are... Oh, tied, tied in. with yeah. the, the Guardians for man. If we didn't place. make the playoffs because of a goal differential, I would be so disappointed. Oh my gosh! My if gosh. we had the same record as the fourth place team, that would be that would be pretty devastating, for sure. Jordan, did you say that both of our um, questions today were kind of related to one another? Uh, yeah. So I, ha- I oh had a, a second question Look that was somewhat related the, to that um, from Jake Sky Turner. He says, "Hey, Jordan, Ben, J, and DK." I have a lot of things on my plate and need help balancing them out. Some of these are uh, severe commitments and must be kept. I play at my church on Sundays. I have a 16-hour college schedule. I work almost 30 hours a week. I act in Broadway-style productions, and I write music. How do I keep going on these without compromising my integrity on any one? I'm kind of freaking out. So it's another one of those... It's kind of the same question, yeah, isn't it? Just Mm -hmm. uh, about... Okay, read, read off this list again. Uh, play at my church on Sundays, have okay. a 16-hour college schedule, work 30 hours a week, act in Broadway-style production, and write music. I think that this person might be doing that thing where they make a list of all the stuff they have going on so it feels like there's a ton of stuff. And, I mean, if they're, if they're doing it in some capacity and not willing to uh, stop on any of them, uh, then I... I think that they're probably capable of doing it, or at the very least have been. Uh, that being said, they, the only one that would really feel like you could dial back where quality wouldn't be as in play, uh, I presume if you are a student like this, you are not working like a, um, a job job necessarily. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Where it, 30 hours a week. 30 hours a week. Right. Might be spread out across a couple of different jobs. No, sure, but like, you know, I I dated a girl in college who worked 40 hours a week at a grocery store. Oh, I, oh, I that's what I said. Yeah, so it's like where, where if we're talking about the quality of the work, um, you could probably cut hours there with a, a, without, you know, any crazy amount of significant loss. Like it's probably just a part-time job. That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 Um, the other... Whew. It sounds like at least if you're in, if you're working on, like you obviously can't cut classes down at all. So just from your back, you must keep going to class. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, otherwise, probably part time job. You can you can do that. I mean, if you need the money, obviously you have to keep that in play. So just that that can solve that problem. If you, if you need the money, you have to keep doing that. If you can survive with less, then that's something to consider. Um, let's see, playing for your church, that's just a matter of enjoyment. I mean, I don't know how much more of your Sunday you have to spend there, or if, it, or if it's like a number of, I don't know, some places do like Wednesday night services or whatever, or if you have to go to practices. Um, in my experience with churches, they're very forgiving people. Um, by nature, what do you know? Who um, knows? Yeah. Uh, I wonder why that is. Jay, you actually brought up a really good point with that, with the other time you might spend there. So perhaps, like, if they're going to play at the church service, let's say that it's an hour long, but perhaps they get there 20, 30 minutes early to talk to people, and then afterwards they spend time hanging out and and chatting with friends. And so there might be other smaller time sucks that are going into some of these things on the list. So while the commitment is only an hour or so... But, it yeah, turns into an all day. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Like I, I've got some friends who play at our local church, and like you, you know, there's like I don't know exactly how much commitment is 100 percent necessary. Like I know they certainly like have maybe like a practice on Saturday night, and then there's also obviously the uh-huh. early service and the afternoon service, and you know you have to be at both of those all of a sudden. And maybe if there's like I don't know, yeah, other nights of the week, so. Even not even including like chit chat with other people time, like if you can talk to them and say, hey, I only want to do the early service or I can't make it to practices or whatever. Like a lot of times they're still going to be okay with you being there because it's kind of pretty repetitive with the music and churches. And, you know, it's yeah, like pretty good. You know, it's kind of the same like 20 songs you probably do over and over, I'm guessing. Um, well, and that being said too, okay, so my, my thinking there, I know you guys went pretty deep into that, but my thinking there is that you play for your church, I bet you're doing it because you enjoy it, yeah. and I don't think that should go, that's why I said that he's got like the, 
the laundry list of things that makes it sound like, right. oh my god, I'm so busy because I have to do this and that and that. And I know that I do this too because we're in our kickball league right now, hashtag Team Skywater. Um, but sometimes, like, so tomorrow, for example, we have to make a full video, we have a kickball game, and then we have one of our Google Hangouts for the Patreon. And, like, when you list it like that, it's like, oh my gosh, we have such a crazy busy day and it's going to be exhausting and tiring and stuff. But it's like, kickball is something that I do for fun. Yeah, right. You know? Like, yeah. um, if any of these things on the list you're already just doing for fun, then, yeah, you can probably just leave them on the list. Right, and, it, like, it, like, you shouldn't be classifying it as one. As things you yeah, have right. to be doing. Right. It's like you chose to do it. So if you don't want to do it, then, then so that's an easy do one. Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. And similar advice before. If they, if they don't need you, then, you know, you might feel over needed, which sounds, I mean, that can sound maybe like it stinks, but it might it might be true. The other thing I think you said was writing music. That sounds like, I mean, you can easily just not write music, right? I wonder probably how, also if, a thing doing yeah. for fun. Probably also something you do for fun. Actively scheduled something. If you go into your <coughs> calendar or whatever, whatever. Uh, oh. Your chosen app is a mistake. No! Oh, <laughs> oh good! What's up? No. Oh, okay. well, yeah, almost had it. Yeah. It's all right. Good, good effort, David. Yeah, it's not real hard. Good effort. Um, Michael, Michael Burns is dang Toblo. Yeah, yeah. The bandit oh. Toblo. The ball. Uh, so if you go through and schedule stuff, and Thank instead of looking at shot. how busy you are, look at your open times. Ah. You know, like, like, oh, look at all the. I oh, no, actually had my pop when I was very busy. Um, maybe things, sort of like Jordan was saying, where it's these commitments that should last an hour end up lasting way, way more. Um, and all you have to do is just sort of stay committed and be like, all right, time's up, gotta go, guys, sorry. Yeah, time. that's true, too. It's actually something I kind of like about our kickball team is, like, we go, we play kickball, oh, no. and yeah, then you don't have to do the after hangouts if you don't want to. Yeah. So if you're tired or you have other responsibilities or you just don't want to see more people, you don't have to. Yep. Yeah, this is neat. Uh, what was that other thing? You said they were in Broadway style production. I don't know what that means. That yeah, to me sounds like either you are part of a play, and I mean, if you're like, you know, it sounds like if you're committed to that, you probably have to keep doing it. And you might have a part that people are depending on you for. Um, but also, probably fairly seasonally, I would guess. Yeah. Um, then, yeah, I don't know. It seems unlikely that you are part of a full year-round casting of something. Without that just being without your full-time job. Full -time job. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. if you are in year-round castings, maybe you should... Maybe you should be getting paid for it? Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, uh, yeah, I don't know if you mean, like, community theater or if it's something more. That's, that I need more information. Yeah, 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 I don't know what you mean by it. Yeah. Broadway. Well, so maybe we should just make a, a sweeping declaration. Uh, if, if you guys could just give us a, a smidge of more detail. <laughs> Woo, yeah. I'm going to have to start summarizing things then. Well, that's probably good. Oh, oh, I got a Don't worry, guys. Got a I got a golden star. It kind of looks like a pancake star. It kind of does. It looks like a stone. It's a pancake star. It's a, it's a pancake man, a star. What? I think a star man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. A pancake made out of star or a star made out of pancake? I like it the other way. I like, I like the way I said it better. So like a, like a celestial body that is pancake. No, a pancake that is a celestial body. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> no. No? <laughs> yes. I think you said a celestial body that's a pancake. Yeah. So like a pancake in the sky. Yeah. I'm thinking of a piece of celestial body on your plate. <laughs> Glowing the same way that a star would. But a pancake so, made of stars. So that's not even a pancake, then it just is like a piece of the moon. No, it's a pancake well, I mean, made of star. <laughs> We are all stardust. Are you just like a star <laughs> falls to Earth, you collect it, make it into pancake batter? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> how do we how do we convert the star how into pancake? How do we convert pancake? incandescent gas into pancake? Hmm. I think my original thought was a pancake in the shape of a star. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> made of pancakes. No, I like the I like I like the idea that one of the stars up there is really just a pancake. Twinkle, twinkle, little pancake. pancake. <laughs> <laughs> we did want to end with more music. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> that should twinkle, just be twinkle, whatever little we pancake. whatever we score a goal, it's just twinkle, twinkle, little pancake. <laughs> it's that a little bit of a deadpan. <laughs>
Oh my god. Oh, it's probably how your pen would well, be. Well, we are still on. To, wait, is this one or two? That this was, is two. That was two. That was two. two. So right, because that because that was eighteen, and now guys, the win streak continues. Woo -hoo! Yeah, y'all. We're getting Looking too good up. for our we have riches. A, we have a two-game lead over the second-place Cyclones. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Well, well done, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, to, uh, you know, maybe maybe leave a like or something, or like leave a comment or a question. <laughs> you know, if you want. Consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe. Whatever. I don't know. Hey, look at you. That's, yeah. You're doing great. Oh, I was going for more of a nonchalant. No, nah, but you know, that like time. you got that sort of like whatever. It's it's cool. Yeah. You could. Yeah. You couldn't. Just and then you know, like whenever people do that, it's like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Everybody's whatever. like, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, or not, whatever. There's an orchestra of, of keyboard <coughs> noise happening right now. Oh, well, I wish I could hear it. Veritable uh, orchestra. Veritable orchestra. You guys should just literally type keyboard noise comment. Oh, that would be great. That would be great. How many, how many comments say keyboard noise? <laughs> click, I'm going to estimate 36. 36? 36 keyboard noises. I'm sure Jordan will tally it up and give us the actual number at some point in the future. See you next time. Bye. Bye.